once you finally do get in the back track and you do want to use your um your internet connection if you're on a live disk sometimes it doesn't properly set up your connection whether you're using wired or wireless um, also when using a virtual machine if your wired connection is established or your wireless connection is established sometimes it doesn't properly set it up and this isn't so much for like hacking and whatnot it's more so for um, your standard everyday use if you just want to use a network or internet connection within backtrack you can also use a wired connection within backtrack while having your wireless adapter enabled to do whatever you want to do for backtrack the network service is not started by default I believe so if you um, left click or just highlight over the K menu left click then um, one of the expands you want to go to the services and then from that drop down select network and select start network service if that does not work what you want to do is go through that procedure again and this time click stop network and after doing so just open up your terminal console I'll go ahead and um, go through the steps for creating a, a wired connection or an ethernet cable connection the steps are essentially the same for wireless I'll also show the steps needed for uh, configuring a wireless as well so first thing first, once you're in the backtrack environment, either whether it be uh, virtualized or on a disk, just type in if config, and you should see the the adapters listed. Either yours is most likely going to be WLAN zero or you know like mine ETH uh, zero. Once you find your um, hardwired connection there, what you want to go ahead and do is you want to type in sudo if config, spelled correctly of course, and then the name of the adapter. Up. Uh, this enables the adapter if it's not already enabled be prompted for a password which we'll go and enter. Um, after doing so we want to go ahead and assign an IP address. So we're going to go and type in if config then the adapter name and then specify an IP address. If you're using an IP address or a static IP address on your home computer you want to make sure you assign something that differs from it. Um, so go ahead and enter in an IP address. My static IP on my host system is ending in 114 so I'm going to make it 112 in this case. And then we want to enter a net mask which will be the subnet mask and we can go ahead and enter it. It's normally standard here. Um, to find this information if you are using a virtual system, uh, you can go to your host system and open up your command prompt, assuming you're using Windows, and just type in ipconfig slash all. You can scroll up to your primary network adapter, and you'll see here all the information you need. Um, IP address is going to be listed there, your default gateway, your, your um, DNS server, everything you're going to need here. Uh, also, your subnet ma net mask is going to be listed there as well. So you can just reference this for the time being. Um, once you've done that, go ahead and hit enter. And uh, I forgot to preface that with sudo, so let me go ahead and redo that. Okay, now once that's done, you can go ahead and add the default gateway. Uh, default gateway normally is going to be the IP address for your router. So I'm using a D-link, so I can go ahead and put this information in. It's going to be 192.168.0.1. Enter. Uh, I already actually added that, so it's probably not going to let me do it again. But anyways, that's going to be the, the command you use for that case. Also, if you're using a wireless adapter, one two steps I forgot to note before actually uh, setting the default gateway, even though it may not even matter, is you want to type in the sudo, config, or sudo IW config and then your wireless adapter which is probably going to be WLAN 0 mode set it to manage hit enter and then uh, you're going to do the same command again and this time you're going to specify the ES ESS ID which is going to be the name of your network in my case it would be like Leeds network and then um, key and then your uh, encryption key and once you've done that you can proceed as normal that's the only different step that's going to be with the wireless connection now once your gateway address is declared, we want to go ahead and specify the uh, DNS or your name server. So we can go ahead and type in sudo sh space hyphen c and then echo name server 192.168.1. This is mine in case. If you don't actually have a, if you don't, your router isn't your DNS, you can also do a search on Google. There's a lot of public ones out there. But you should be able to get this information from the IP config we did earlier right there. Uh, once we've done that, we can just uh, specify the file we want to write this to, so we can base our configuration settings on that. So the command is going to look as such. Just hit enter, and at this point we can verify connectivity by starting first with the um, gateway, which we can ping just fine. Next we can try um, an internet site, but before we do that, um, a step we need to do 
is we need to um, start that network service again. Once you started the network service, you should be able to ping external websites. So let's try Google, for instance. And we have connectivity. So we can just open up a, uh, a browser here and here and just you know access the Internet freely while using our wireless as well to do whatever we want to do. So that's how you get a network connection set up within the Backtrack environment.